Hello, it's Mary Kay with Mary Kay's Artful Journey. I hope everybody is well. Everybody are well? <laughs> How does that work, right? Anyways, um, I decided to show you my rendition of using these boxes for making books. Just gonna cut these off and let's just go here today today is going to be a cleaning day of my craft room after I go to the store because I gotta go to the store I'm just gonna open this up I gotta go to the store because I gotta get some dishwashing tabs because I have been keeping up my dishes, and that's important. All right, so. So we're making the book cover right now. And it's real simple to make these books. When I'm um, altering, um, oh, what do they call them? Report journals or... You know, report books, the ones that your kids get for school. I'm just going to clear all this that I cut off away. Put it over here in the garbage. Okay, so when I'm doing um, the report journals, I'm taking out pages. So I have a lot of different pages. And, um, and some of the pages... I, I put into these little books. So here's some of the pages and I folded them and they're ready to go. Hi Tammy! Welcome! So if some of you are on the live chat you can um, go ahead and chat with us and I do chat, try to touch base with everyone. So I've taken um, the papers. Let me show you. So these are the papers that I've taken out of the book. So I've taken them and folded them probably in half about, you know, I mean almost in half because I, I like to cut this part off. And then I just cut this down and cut that part off. Let it go. And then I just, basically I just fold it in half like this. Fold it in half. And then cut it again. And there you've got four pages. Because that was, you know, two. And then I'm just going to cut this corner off because this is rounded. And cut this corner off. There. And then, so I have another one I made here. This one, of course, has more pages, so I'll just grab some other ones I made. Oh, here's, a, here's one. See, they're the same size. That one is a little shorter, though. So, I'm going to take this one. So, these are the two signatures here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make it really easy. I'm going to position it where I want it to go in here. So I'm just going to put in two signatures. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy stapler, just a regular size one, and I'm going to put it in here and staple it this way because. If you staple it the other way, then the um, these are on the wrong side, and then they'll you know catch some of these fingers. But they'll they would do it on this side too. But then what I do after I do that is I flatten, flatten these. Uh, I use my handy dandy flat handle flattener. <laughs> I just basically flatten them so that 
they don't catch. And then I put this in. Oops, I'll go upside down. And we staple it in about the same spot. Let's see, that one I did about there. Well, see that? And that one decided not to staple. So we're going to do it again. And then, again, it did not, decided not to staple. So, what we're going to do is we are going to turn this upside down and staple it the way I really wanted it to go anyways. There we go. Now it's stapled right. Oh, actually, I didn't want to go there. Oh, whatever. I guess it only wanted to go one way, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Mary Lou. Hi Jody. Oh, long time no see, Jody. Thanks for coming. So I'm gonna take this one out because I want it to go the other way. And these are like sharp scissors, so it fits underneath there. Come on. There we go. And then I'll just pull the staple out. And then remember with your staples, instead of letting them go on your, oh, I ripped that, oh well. Instead of, you know, leaving them on your desk where they can get on the floor, make sure you throw them away in the garbage so that you do not step on them because they really hurt. So now this one didn't go all the way through. You notice that? It did. I thought it was all the way through. Weird. Maybe I pulled it up. Alright, we're going to have to take out both of them. <sighs> how rude. <laughs> and this is how I roll. So I guess we'll just do the same method. Find the... Find the staples. It's stapled in though. Maybe it's just that page. Yeah, let's just discard that page. That was just being weird. Okay, don't move it. Ah, that's better. It went all the way through. That's weird, though, that because that, that other one was, was flat this way. Just folding it back over where it goes. And then moving this one down. There, now they can't. Well, they can still catch on my finger. That's better. Kind of. We'll just put washi tape there. But look at that. It happened again. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Oh. Oh, you're at your dad's again? Well, we're going to take this one out. So I'm not happy with it. And it bounced. I don't know where it went. If it went on the floor, am I in trouble? Okay, we're going to try this again. So. I'm going to go from this side. See if it makes a difference. Thank you. And then whatever's um, hanging over, then you just cut off. But don't cut your book like I just did. Just cut.
cut it off. There you go. And then the next one, let's do that. Don't don't do the same thing over, you know, just do do something similar. How about that? <laughs> Don't make all the mistakes. That one's too big. Let's just do this one because it has more pages. So, and again, put this in here. It's a little shorter, but that's okay. Let me just use this one next. I don't know what the deal is. Still shorter. That just must have been a long one. Oh well. And this one. It kind of got a little lopsided. worked a lot better. So then you got two signatures in there and I know I could probably put a third one in there because I put it way over but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. And then you just color your book. You can um, just put a piece of paper over the um, over it. Let's see here. What do I got? Book pages. Book pages work good. You can just glue a book page on there. I wonder if it'll go this way. Oh, let's just glue it this way. <coughs> Did you tell him, Mary Lou, that his, that the love what the eleventh commandment was? I had to make it up when my parents were alive. Thou shall not fall is the eleventh commandment. Okay, so then you just glue this on. Or you could glue something cute on it. You know what? Let me find something cute. Because I have lots of cute paper. This is kind of cute. what it's on the other side of this. That's kind of cute. But this is even cuter. That little that little thing is cute. Okay, so we can glue that over that and then the one uh, other one on the back. So we'll just glue put the glue on here. And this will make a great like Easter basket um, little note thingy, right? Oh, I guess I'm going to do that to the where the edge is, so it'll be easier to cut off, cut where I need to cut. And then I'll just cut around the edge. who I um, learned this from. I think I learned it from Liz Drake. <laughs> she used to be really into to um, making journals and stuff, but now she's changed. She's, she's just doing like um, videos on makeup and, and um, she still does journals, but they're more along the lines of journals that um you know, like uh, planner journals. So 
Okay, so I got some inks in here. What color is that? That's what I need. So I'm just going to put this ink around here. Kind of a similar color. I like to do that. It's the similar colors. And then, let's see here. Does this one fit on the back here? Oh, look at that. It's going to fit. So I'm going to do that down on the edge. <coughs> Open the glue, open the glue. Oh, welcome back, Cheryl. Oh, good. I'm glad, Mary Lou. You know, when... The, my my parents are all go are gone, both of them. But when they were alive, I took care of them. And you know, I wouldn't give that up for the world of taking care of them, because my dad um, he loved my art, you know, because I used to do um, paintings and such. Um, but then when I get got married, it, I kind of w went away from that. But um, he always really encouraged me to do my art. And um, when he passed away, I'm sorry, I'm getting teary-eyed. When he passed away, um, he he and he passed away like. 2004, August of 2004, but um, before he passed away, when I was taking care of him, um, he would say, oh, Mary Kay, you're, you're, um, he said, my hand, or he'd say, my feet are cold, can you warm my feet? And I said, oh, dad, sure, and I had, at the time, I had warm hands, and now my hands are like cold ice right now, but, um, Hi, Jade. And, um, hi, Lala. And, um, so my hands were, um, warm. And so I would, um, warm his feet for him. And he, he just was the sweetest dad, you know. All our dads, are, of course, are sweet. Um, even when they're kind of grumpy. But, you know, some, some don't know how to love like others, but. You know, it's nice when you get one that does. And my, I said, I said, well, you know, you know what this means, Dad. And he says, what? I says, warm hands, cold heart. And he said, nope, gold heart. So you know, and when I first started um, doing art on YouTube, that was gonna be my my name was Gold Heart Art. And I even bought a web um, a domain called Gold Heart Art. But I haven't done anything with it because somebody else also had the Gold Heart Art thing. So I didn't know. They, they sold gold jewelry. Um, but So, anyways, but when I thought of that name, these, um, my dad used to hunt geese, a flock of geese flew over. So that was, you know, it was like him saying, yeah, that's a good name. I know, aren't they sweet? Oh, okay. How are you doing, Jade? Or should I say area? Area, you should be getting something in the mail too. I sent you a, a package. 
it's not very big, but you know, it's, it has some stuff in it. But I'm thinking that with th with this thing going on, I don't know if I can ever get up to Olympia. Though my friend goes up there, maybe I should do like a curbside drop off. <laughs> But first, I gotta get my car fixed. My car is um, needs fixing. Hi, Bet. Oh, cool. Ninja gear. What's ninja gear? You know, that's one thing. I mean, I have a scarf to use as a mask, but I don't have a mask. I saw online where you can make them really cute. I was thinking about making one cause with my handy-dandy sewing machine that I haven't done anything with yet. So I'm just putting this green on here because I, I like the green. You know, it's funny because I have these other um, Oh, I can't think of what I was going to say. I have these other uh, books that I did. Little journals that I did. And they're like really shiny. <laughs> Because I put, like, shellac stuff on them. Oh, and then I'm going to put this on here. That's not straight. Hi, Yvette. How are you doing? Are you surviving this? Holocaust? Isn't it a holocaust? Oh, crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna quarter round this because I can. Because I have a corner rounder. Uh, come back here. Uh, come back here. And the other thing I started doing today. I paid my mortgage. Yay! That's all taken care of this month. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I got paid from my job that they laid me off. But they laid me off for the rest of the year, so they can't they can't do it anymore. They could only do it that one month. And then so I'll be able to pay my I think that our, our car insurance taxes should go down, or insurance should go down during this time period, don't you? I think they should give us all a break. So, I'm going to put this here, and this is going to go on the back, like that. So this could be like a little, a little garden um, journal for outside. You know, like when you plant your seeds and stuff, it'd just be like a little notebook. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back, Lola. So, and then we'll put this on this side. go so it's like a little journal notebook oh I wonder if that would fit in an envelope <laughs> and it would fit in an envelope hey Janice how are you today so you know the 
the people that I sent stuff to. Let me see here. Here's my list. Let's see here. Susan Jarrell. Oh, here we go. I sent to Susan Jarrell, Aria, Grandma Allison. Grandma Allison is somebody who comments on my videos all the time. She's so sweet. Deanna Burrs. And Deanna Burrs is a friend that I knew a way, long way back. Lala and Lucia. So those are the ones I mailed. And I thought I mailed one to... Um, I also mailed one to um to Jade. And I'm not sure I can't remember. I thought I wrote them all down, but it seems to me there was more Oh I did. It says area. Duh. <laughs> of course I think on, on your um envelope area it says it says Ariel. <laughs> so anyway, so then this is a cute little book that you can you know, when you do your seeds, you can you can actually you can put your seed packets in here. You know, you can tape your seed packets on there or whatever you like to do. So it's just a little notebook. And I did another one. Oh here it is. Here's another one. Oh, and I have a couple more too. What they went to. Maybe they're under this bunch of stuff here. Oh, there's my. I'm gonna put these up here. Put those down there. All right. I'm just looking under my stuff here because I have a whole bunch of stuff on. I have a whole bunch of stuff on my stuff. Oh, but I had some and some other ones of these, and they had bunnies on them. I don't know what I did with them. They're probably in a box somewhere. Who knows? Oh, but everybody, I want to let you know that um, you are getting a Christmas card. I'm, it's an unsigned Christmas card as part of your Happy Mail. So this one that I did, I added these colorful papers to it. So it has those. But I am going to cover this one with book pages too. And let's see here where those book pages go. Oh, Ooh, you remember these book pages I did? They're to there foldable for a journal. So I have those ready to go for a journal. But look, they have like a <laughs> I don't know if it's wax paper. Oh, it's it's um just I don't know what I did. <laughs> so let's see here. Nothing's where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to put this in between there. And look down here. Alright, here's some book pages. Remortar a wall. Get the top off the pickle jar. You turn it over and hit the bottom. It's 80 degrees there? Wow. Oh, and if you don't have Lysol and you need something to spray stuff with, if you have um, hydrogen peroxide, you just dilute it 50-50 and you can spray that on your furniture or anything. And if you've gone out into the world and come back, make sure that you're, you're disinfecting afterwards. And my friend said not to vacuum. Because that makes the particles that go in the air. 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna save this. Get the this just seems like a funny to save and put on the top of a page. So anyways. But you know, of course check with the attorney general on everything because even though people are putting stuff out there, it may not be true. And make sure that you're just checking with CDC. I don't know if that's what it's called. Anyway, just make sure that you check. Check all of your sources before you share. I guess that's what you should do. I only shared that because my friend, she works for a nursing home. And that's what they're doing in the nursing home. Is they're using hydrogen peroxide. Oh, I did that wrong again. Gonna do. I'm going to leave the H on there. That's what they're doing is the hydrogen peroxide. Hey, and since this has already got the glue on it, I'm just going to put it here. Just gonna snip off the edge. And snip this off. There you go. Now we just hold that down like that. And then I'm gonna do one more over here. Your back. Welcome everybody. Welcome Mary. Katie's here. Welcome Katie. Well, I'm going to read from our little prayer book. Oh, let's see here. How about this one? Lord set me free from negative emotions. Lord, help me not to help us not to be insecure and self-focused so that we may miss opportunities to focus on you and extend your love. May we be sensitive to the needs, trials, and weaknesses of others and not overly sensitive to ourselves. What you accomplished on the cross is my source of greatest joy. Help me to concentrate on that. Thank you, Lord, or help us to concentrate on that. Thank you, Lord, that I, in my distress, I can call, we can call on you because cause us to hear your loving kindness in the morning. For in you do we trust Cause us to know the way in which we should walk, for we lift up our souls to you. Psalm 143.8 May the joy of knowing you fill my heart, fill our hearts with happiness and peace. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippines 4, um, chap that's chapter 4, um, verses 6 or 7. Amen. 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 Oh, good. That's good, Lala. It's that bleach. Bleach. It does not. It does not work. Um, my friend said that the virus overpowers bleach. So use peroxide. I've been using bleach too. So, you know. Rose hip syrup. Make rose hip syrup. Oh, here we go. 
ingredients. Here's the ingredients. Oh, I wonder if that's on the back. Gather some rose hips. Okay, wait. I probably shouldn't have cut this. Oh, wait. It's okay. Gather some rose hips on a sunny day. It's best to have Best to have too many. Come home again and give them a good wash. Crush them in a bowl and help get help. It's boring. <laughs> Drop them into three pints of boiling water. Return to boil. Remove from heat. Allow mush to stand for one minute, about ten minutes. That just enough time to pluck your eyebrows. <laughs> Now strain the mixture through the jelly bag in case you never met a jelly bag before. They are simple, a simple cloth affairs for straining, like a cheesecake, cheesecloth, um, with jelly. If you're straining through muslin, get someone to help you. It's all a bit fiddlesome. Once it stops dripping, Reserve the juice and return the pulp to the pan with a further three and a half cups of boiling water. Bring the mixture back to the boil and remove from heat and let stand again. After 10 minutes, strain as before and combine the juice of the broth straining. Pour this liquid into a clean pan and boil down until you have three and a half cups of juice. Add one pound of sugar and stir on low heat until it dissolves. Boil for five minutes, but do not allow it to burn. Decant your hot rose hoops serve in a very clean, small bottles. If they look medicinal, if they look medicinal, so much the better. Seal them tightly and give them to your neighbor. Oh, to your undernourished-looking friends. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So two pounds of rose hips, one pound of ch sugar, and a large pan. <laughs> oh, peroxide will stain stuff like bleach, but that's why you're putting 50-50 water and, you know, 50 water, 50 peroxide so it doesn't stain. Rose hips are those little round things that, um, I'm saving that. I'm saving that. That's a good, that's a nice little thing to put into a journal. But it's, it's the, um, you know, they're like little round things. When you, when your roses, if you don't pick your roses, then they form a little ball. And it's like the seeds of the rose or something. Best use of closet under the stairs. But anyways, you can look it up on YouTube. What is a rose hip? And then it'll, you know, bring you to that. If you're using peroxide, make sure you put in a dark bottle because a peroxide will lose its strength if it is in a light bottle for too long. Oh, that's good to know. Well, you know what? I have um, two peroxide bottles. One, I already had a sprayer on it because I used peroxide to clean my um, to clean my shower. And that works well. Oh, Katie, you're so sweet. Well, everybody that's lurking, hello, and thank you for coming. I appreciate you, and I hope you're having a blessed day. We are just going to cover this side, this. So far, I've made this cute little journal. Oh, and this is the back. And then I'm making another one out of a candy box. Shaking it. There we go. Make sure you get it in the corners because that's, you know, otherwise it kind of flips up. And then just 
Put it on there straight. Whatever is left over, cut off. Cut it off, cut it off. I couldn't see. I probably should have opened this up. There we go. And then we got to find another sticker to put on it. Oh, I do have a sticker. Look, I have these pretty little stickers. I used this one yesterday so I can fit it on here today. Perfect. Sweet, adorable you. Yeah, they do. Oh, see, that didn't glue very well, so I'm going to put a little more glue in there. Open the glue. It works best. You should always open your glue. It works best if you do. There we go. Now we gotta put something on the back. What do I have for the back? Let's see, let me see. Oh, you know what, I have something right here. And if you get a happy mail from me, I have to apologize right now because I'm really bad at putting little letters in there. You just get like the happy bell and that's it. Oh, look at little pogs. Well, this one has... That's a pretty... But that's the back. We don't want to put that on the back. I can put those over there. Faith. She blooms. Yeah. This one doesn't have what I'm looking for. No, maybe there's more over here. There's more over here. Look, there's all of this. My letters are falling. Come back, come back. So there's that I could put on the back. I was kind of looking for something like, you know, something floral that, kind of like that other one. I might just have to go back in here. There we go, there's something. Isn't this cool? I think I did this on my um, Cricut, or no. Yeah, I might have done it on my Cricut, I'm not sure. Spring is in the air. Oh, that would be pretty. What's on the other side? Or this. Oh, that should go for my bee thing. I should make a frog journal. I love the frogs. April showers bring May flowers. Oh, bumper shoots. <gasps> Look at that. All right. We're going to go with this. This on the back. And you know what? I'm going to have to put glue on this. You got your letter today, Tammy. Oh. Well, I sprayed it on my couch. But I don't really care too much about my couch because... Well, it was my mom's, but my husband's already stained it to death. 
so it gets cleaner. <laughs> It'll get cleaner when my when I do it. Oh my goodness! Oh, cute little bunnies. Do the corners. Oh, I forgot to do um the edging. Edging. I forgot to do the edging. I haven't. I still have time. Ugh. Ooh. That was hard. See, now if you don't get it glued very well, it comes up. Alright. Glue. Go down. It's like cold or something. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Get this other one over here that's upside down. Oops, sorry. Earthquake! Earthquake! After the glue, you'll see the earthquake. There you are. It's an earthquake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oops. All right, so I want to do a different color. Where's my colors? What color? Oh, let's do, I don't know, blue. Let's do this blue. Let's do this blue. Blue, blue, you got the flu. I don't want to play with you. Oh. <laughs> so, Lala, how are you doing? You know, oh. Did I just glue that down? Um. In all of this, if you guys have anxieties and you start thinking that you might have it or whatever, just stop and think. Just stop and say a prayer. Ask God to protect you. And just, you know, just remember, He's got our backs. <laughs> he's got our backs he's got our backs so there that's a cute little candy book so and I get these you know candy boxes they're from the Dollar Tree oh I gotta put the backing on there so we're gonna just measure this and I think I'm gonna cut it right here even that's that's a little shorter than normal but that's okay and then I'm just going to cut it right. No, let's cut the boot off. Let's cut one boot off. And then we'll just do this. And this. And this. And this. And then we'll... I have a green, I think. A green, a green, a green. Oh, here's the green. Green, 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 green. I'm getting carpet tunnel. Carpal tunnel from trying to reach on him. <laughs> Do you think they'll let you claim L and I too? So once you get through, tell them that you also want to contact L and I so that um <laughs> because you're getting carpal tunnel from <laughs> dialing so much. I wouldn't even um uh, admit to carpal tunnel.
Well, maybe we just need to pray that she gets through. Heavenly Father, please clear all the circuits so that Alala can get through to the unemployment agency and file her claim so they can pay her back pay as well. You are so precious and wonderful. Because you know what? I think they would owe you back pay for not getting in. 600 times? And Lala, before you dial, say, Lord, please clear the circuits for me as I'm dialing this number so I can get through to a person to file my um, claim or if I can get through to the... Um, just help me get through and get this done. And I have to say a prayer that, Lord, please help me to make the effort to file for my unemployment because we really need it. <laughs> I'm going to put all of this in here as a storage for this. And, you know, I worked on my, um, this journal yesterday. So this one, these two are done. The, those make these make, make great um, journals for if you go to bazaars and stuff. So that's what I want to do is sell at a bazaar. Oh, I only put the green out, out around one. I forgot to put it around the edge. Yeah. Let's finish it. Finish it, finish it. Where did it go? I put it around both the back and the front, but I forgot right here. And the reason I can do it with this because it's raised. So, there we put it on the back. There we go. There we go. Laura said they are not doing back pay. And their systems are not working. We're bad. Before now, the system can't handle the, all the calls. Oh my goodness. Well, you just, like I said, say a prayer. And ask God to clear the circuit so you can get through. Thank you. They're sweet and adorable. And you can you can mail them through their mail. Just, you know, push them flat. So, kind of cool. So then my... I, what I did yesterday is I made one of these for this book. So, but I didn't... I didn't do it, mermaid. <laughs> the mermaid wishes she was a human. <laughs> oh, so I was trying to think, because I have some nautical stuff, if I didn't give it all away. Oh, let me just look here. Nautical, nautical, naughty nautical. Oh, let's see. Where did it go? Those are birds. I'm sorry, I'm looking through my stash. Looking through my stash. Well, there's this. Look, it has the shuttle. Shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. When, um, my nieces were young they their dad worked on the shuttle so they went to florida to see it take off they i think they saw the one where the the lady died the teacher died and um and when sarah she she pointed to the sky and she said shuttle shuttle and she pointed as it went down and that's so sad so sad all right i must have more places that i have this stuff look i have camping while i'm camping camping all right, I have lots of typewriters. Spooky stuff. 
Huh. I know I have beach stuff. Okay. You know what that means? I gotta clean my. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Look what I found. Oh, that's what I found. Ooh, you know what else I found? I have. I have this little envelope. This little envelope. Oop, oop. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's that book. Boy, I would have never found that book. Where did it? Huh. Oh, see, li this tape looks like water. Sorry, my. Una me meto bar bar bar. I gotta move the cord so that I don't keep popping it. There we go. So I got this, which looks like seaweed. And this looks like water. I don't know if that's a lick and stick or what. It just seems like it's weird. And then I got these. These I cut out from my um from I had a a sticker book and I made a copy of it. I'm just gonna make some stickers of these. Put in there. Oh, come on. Pull through. Just trying to get it to go through. There we go. I can just fit the little ones in there, make stickers of them. Isn't that funny? I copied them, and, then, and they were stickers, and I copied them. <laughs> now what am I making? Stickers? Let's see here. Here's a little fish. And another little fish. There's a neon tetra. Is that a neon tetra? There. I'm going to go in there. And there's a little fish head. Tuck it down in there. And here's a little, another little fish head. And these guys don't fit, I think. These guys are too big. See? Too big. Too big. Too big. Darn. So then we'll just pull this out. And then I got my stickers. There we go. There it goes. Make stickers to make stickers. Oh. That was my friend. So, anyways. Okay. So, I got those. And, oh, there's a couple more that I missed. There's a, oh, I wonder if this one will fit through there. Might. No. It's too wide. Let me see. Pulling it through, pulling it through. Ooh. Just barely made it. And then, oh, there's a little crab. <laughs> you laughing at me? The girls are all mermaids? Oh, wasting it. And 
Let's see here. I got a... Oh, the jellyfish isn't going to make it. And I got one more little crab. Or is it... Oh, it's a lobster. Oops. It went under the crab. Oh, well. That's fine. And then I got... Um, Here's some sand and some shells. So I got those two. I'll put that over there. Lala, where are you going? So I'm just going to cut this like in little lines. So that's not so long. There we go. He's going in this garbage. <gasps> there we go. There we go. All right. So then, of course, there's this. So. The sea, once it casts its spells, holds one for net forever wonders. This is more Florida, but I could probably use this. And these are like little tabs. So I could put the tabs on and use those. But anyways, it's 2 o'clock already, ladies. I spent all that time looking for stuff. So we're, we're going to probably work on this tomorrow. An hour goes by really quick, doesn't it? Oh, Lala's going to miss the end. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming. And, um, and I really enjoyed doing these two little, two little things with you keeps coming up. I'll have to put more glue on it. And but maybe, you know, before let's just wait for Lalo to come back. I'm just gonna do a little pocket. Do a little pocket. Ooh, that has a letter on it. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Never mind. I'll hold on that one. Where's my others? I seem like I always have that's rose hips. Here they are. Oh, there's the horse. That's really cool. And how to pour beer. Right an ostrich. We'll just keep the the title because that's kind of cute. I think what I'm going to do is make one of those um, corner things. The corner flip pocket that Gail's always making, Gail Agostinale. So we're going to fold this like this. And then we're going to cut it right here. And then, did you come back, Lala? <laughs> well, I'm just going to make one of these really quick, and then I'll go. I'll wait a little bit. So, I'm just going to go around the edges with this. Make sure that I got the bottom edge too. I guess I should do just do both sides. And then what I'm going to do is layer it with some of this. I 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna glue this on. Ooh, maybe I should use this side. Let's do that. I'm just gonna cut a piece of it like that. And then put the glue on. You know, I bought a brand new glue and I've already gone through it. It's amazing how quick things go. There we go. So we're just going to take that and glue it across there like that. And then just cut off the little excess parts. move it down a little bit. That way I don't have to cut off too many of the things. Okay. There we go. There we go. And we're going to glue it right here. We're just going to glue it catty corner. Like that. Now we can put some of those, um, maybe I need to get some shells. I have some shells and I need to find out where they're at. So, part of the cleaning process. I mean, I could use these. I just cut them. There's some shells there. I think I'll just glue that down here on the bottom. Can you even see what I'm doing? Man. There we go. And then open that up and then we'll just, you know, that'll be placed to right and then pocket right here. Make sure that's glued down. Okay, and then, so just to kind of give you an idea, well, with the ostrich anyways, there's a little tuck spot right there. And then there's where you can write. Ta-ta! I will buy it when I get back on my feet again. All right. Well, I'll save it for you then, Lala. All right, ladies. Thank you, thank you for the most wonderful day in the world. Because I'm with you. Have a blessed week, and I will see you tomorrow. 9.15.